Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, episode 26 of Who Should You Choose, the video series where I go through all the prior videos, questions, and comments, and help you with your hut lineup decisions. All right, guys, so let's get into all of last episode's comments. We'll start with Sean, as we've got one here. Appreciate the content, man. Keep it up. Here is my team. I'm very close to another team builder. Should I go with Gonshar or should I improve my centers with Zetterberg? I also plan to upgrade Barzal when his master is released and picking Sagan with my free master if there's no better ones. Thoughts? I have around 300k. So he has Eichel, Dreisaitl, McDavid, Matthew, Stahl, and Kopitar as his four centers there. I think Zetterberg is one of the best cards in the game. You've seen my God Squad. Uh, that card feels way better than his stats indicate. His other options would be um, left-handed for Gonshar. He's got Byram and Severson, so he's automatically going to go to number two, whereas Zetterberg would be his best centerman. So I would go with uh, Zetterberg over Gonshar in that case. Uh, the other question was, should he take Barzal or upgrade him? Yes, and then Sagan with his other pick. Uh, the only issue here is that you have Drysdale at 93, and then, so, Sagan would go there, Zetterberg would move down, Drysdale will be 3, you'd lose Stahl and Kopitar, whereas you might want to take... God, you've already got Drysdale and Makar, so you can't take Carlson. No, you're right, Sagan and Barzal. Unless there's something else that comes out. Josh says, uh, uh means X-Factor tradable card is Team of the Week. Crosby got, like, 60 coins... And Coin's not sure what to do. Main question is, do I replace for X-Factor Dreisaitl and which 94 to take? Thinking grabbing Sagan for Shifley and Dreisaitl for Medano to move Matthews to the wing, not liking 81 face-offs. Any opinions? Sorry for the long message, but if I trade in Team of the Year collectibles from Russia, I might be able to make 87 price from the event to get post-to-post. Um, if you don't like Matthews at center, then definitely. Um, what you'd probably want to do is upgrade Stamkos um, a little bit for... Er, when he gets an upgrade, maybe put Stamkos at first line center. I think that he's fine. I don't like Matthews on wing. I just don't. I don't think he's fast enough. Even at 92 overall, I'm just not enjoying his card, really. Team of the Week Crosby, I would probably sell um, to see what you can get for him. If you take Sagan, you could put him at center um, and just keep Shifley there because your fourth line doesn't really matter. That's probably the best way to go, in all honesty. Uh, Adam says... Uh, hey, slaves, love the channel. Keep up the great work. I recently fought my way back to Division 3 after going through the worst losing streak ever, 3-26. and I like the way my team is now, but it feels like there's something not quite right. Now I only have about 20k and cleared out collection after Team of the Year. Free to play. Any help is appreciated. All right, so he's got Ovi, Matthews, McDavid, uh, Rantanen, Tavares, Marner, Mac, Crosby, Cap Kaprizov, You've got a solid team, man. Um, with your free card, I would probably take... If Barzal, in fact, does come out, I would probably go with Barzal. Um, because he could play him at center, I think, when you take a look at his, all his upgrades. And you could put him on the wing, and you'd have a great one, too, with Ovi and him. Um, that's probably the best. Your defense is fine, so I would probably do that. And honestly, yeah, Matthew, the Matthews and Marner and Tavares, those are fine to keep. I just would move them all down. Yo, Sleeves, thanks for the feedback from last week. It really improved my team. Yo, love to hear it, brother. Victor says, hey, Sleeves, do you think it's worth to get four, to get more than four X factors? I already have 89 Barzal, Pastor, Nat Kane, and McDavid, but I'm going to get the free 94 Barzal when I complete the style icons 2.0. To be honest, man, I would probably upgrade Barzal's X factor from 89 to 94 keep Barzal and go and get Sagan. And then you've got, you know, banger squad players that you could probably use the rest of the game. Uh, Riley Spencer says, love your content, my dude. Free to play with about 250,000 coins. Just looking for what my next move should be. I feel like I'm an untradeable prison, but maybe you have some ideas. One of the losers who still hasn't pulled X Factor McDavid, is he still worth chasing? Yeah, absolutely. Like the 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 monthly choice pack is so cheap that you might as well just keep doing it until you get McDavid. Um, you know, I just think that that's probably the play. In terms of your team, you've got Mac, Paterka, McDavid. So your center is your weakest position. Grab Sagan when you get a shot to. Um, that's probably your best play. And then on defense, look for that 90 overall Alexander Alexiev. That's probably another os option there for you. But those two would be where I would start. With the 250,000 coins, however, 
you could save up a little bit more. I'm just trying to think of a card, like a master item that you could probably get for that for 250k. Hmm. Because you could, like, and you already have X-Factor bars out. That's fine. God, there just isn't a lot. Because you're looking at, like, the 16-bit cards maybe for, like, Eichel, but you don't really need that. You could go and get another McDavid, like the 93 McDavid. You could probably go out and get and replace the 89. Uh, Sierra and Johnson says, I tried every goal in the game. So far, price is number 150 games with each dude. That price, the, the X-Factor price is insane, man. Let's go, Sleep. Should I pick 16-bit Rodriguez or 16-bit Steve Sullivan? Uh, Rodriguez is actually a pretty decent card if you get all the synergies activated. Oh, Vegas. Hey, Sleeves. I used all my cards to build Team of the Air Fox and Headman, so I can't build one of the new Masters, but I can get for one for free. I don't know which one is the best for my team. I think about a center Sagan to replace Kopitar or a lefty urine in Shikrin uh, to replace Yossi, but Barzal going to be very good, and I think about taking him even if I have a lot of right-handed wingers. This is my X-Factors, and I have Shifley on the bench. Who should I upgrade? I don't play much of the game, so I qualified every second Hut Champs. And I get most of the time three hut collectibles. Okay, so he's got Eichel, Matthews, McDavid. I can already tell you, if Matthews is your number one center, then yeah, I would definitely go with uh, Sagan for sure as the option there. Maze says, loving the content as usual, man. Keep up the great work. Now let's play with the idea that Shara might get a style icon card that has 86 speed and acceleration, plus maybe some speed sins. Is he a top three left-handed demon and let's say 88 speed and 88 acceleration, or is it too slow to keep up with the meta? If Achara comes out and he has 88 speed, that's unreal. And I know that 88 speed on almost every card is kind of almost too slow at this point, given how fast everyone is and they just fly down the boards. You've seen it with Victor Hedman. I mean, he's 6'6", and you just can't get around him at the blue line. If you pair him with someone fast that's able to get back on the rush, you're laughing. That a Chara card that has 88 speed is end game and one of the best ever. Like in this game for sure. Like he's un unreal. Eric uh, Lafrance says, "Hey sleeves, I love watching your stream and your videos. They're really helpful. I just don't know where to go next with my team. So he's got Timu as his first line left winger. Duchesne, McDavid, Eichel, Crosby, Miko, Paterka, Forsberg, McKinnon, Caulfield, Matthews, Kane." I pulled 96 Team of the Year McDavid, waiting to sell him, only going for 1.2 mil on Xbox. That feels really low. Yeah, 1.5 should be the minimum. And also, that's unbelievable. But Forsberg, Timu, McKinnon, Yoki, are you all tradable? Also have X-Factor, Barzal, Couture, Apostas, Seth Jones sitting on my bench. Wondering if any of them could do any good on my team. Where should I go next after selling Team of the Year McDavid? So once you sell Team of the Year McDavid, like... Also, you're going to get a free 94, so Sagan would probably be the one that you want to go with because even if you don't play him at center, your right wings, um, he would go right in here for no matter what. And then Branstrom is probably your weakest. I would stop investing coins in a Branstrom um, among left-handers. What you might want to do... Hmm. I was going to say, maybe make two of the... You could make Gonchar and, um, make Gonchar and um, Weber... That way you're ready to cash in team builders when the 98s come out. That's probably where I would go if you have 1.5 mil. Uh, hey, James Eddie says, Hey, Sleeves, here's the team. I took your advice last time. Clear the decks and put it in Team of Your Fox. I've got 200K. Is there anybody I should be looking at to add to the team? Or should I put it in Power Up Collectibles to upgrade the existing squad? Panarin, Barkov, McDavid, Kaprizov, Matthews, Barzal, uh, Liam Kirk from the UK, so I've got to keep them. Respect. Paterka, Zegris. Stamkos, Rasky, Rudeau. Okay, who you want to upgrade first, Stamkos? You want to get Stamkos all the way up to, like, 90-whatever, like, 91, um, and probably play him at center. Um, he's just he's far better than Barkov at center, in my opinion. Uh, your defense is completely fine, but you definitely want to upgrade him, and then upgrade Barzal to 89, get ready for that new one to come out, and when you get uh, when you get Sagan, or when you get a card uh, from the free 94, grab Sagan and put him at center. Corey Clark says, it's going to be a grind, but definitely worth it. I have Zetterberg, Gabriel, and Weber. I'm assuming it means Gabrick. They have been great. I'm chasing one more so that I have an even number and prep for the next trade-in. That's a smart way to go. 
Do all your rerolls with untradeables, grind squad battles, and rivals to get rewards. I had about 300k, worked the market tirelessly, and was able to make two of them. Be patient and don't pay more than 900 coins for the cards, and check the buy nows constantly, especially on Wednesdays and Fridays when the market is packed. A lot of cards get dropped cheap and swiped quick. Don't buy on Sundays or Mondays because, I mean, yeah, that's what I've been saying since the beginning of the year, man. I agree with all that. Um, definitely, uh, definitely follow those rules. Uh, Frank says, Ace Sleeves, love the content. You're my ma main go-to guy. I'm wondering if I should go back in chasing team builders. I had P.E.K.K.A. and that's it. But if I were to try and build a couple 94s, what's the best strategy to complete the sets? I only have 100K at the moment. Uh, so yeah, what he said about chasing the, the cards for under about 1,000 coins, you will eventually get it. It'll take a long time. You definitely should because you have one and that P.E.K.K.A. is just wasted. Like you're, you're not doing anything with it. Try and get another card to get one of the 94s. Um, that should be your main main focus right now. Keep taking on tradable rewards, too, so that you get double the cards to help with your collection. Cameron Jansen says, Hey, Sleeves, love the content, brother. Here's the team. I'm free to play with 45k in the bank. I'm 13 for 16 for either Clef Bomb or Weber. All right, so Mac, Drysettle, Duchesne, McTavish, Crosby, Obi, Stutz, Lebozak, Panarin, Matthews, Bergeron, Eichel. Team of the year, Hedman, Carlson, Valimaki, Riley, Shabbat, and Yossi. You want to go with Weber. You need a right... Uh, yeah, you want to go Weber uh, and grab Sagan as your um, as your free card for sure. Hey, Sleeves, just wondering what to do with my team. I'm free to play in Div 2. And I gave up the wife and kids for team of the year. So my team... So after my top six, it's rough. What X Factor should I drop and upgrade? And should I trade... Should I upgrade Sagan? I also got 80k and was thinking of selling Newman in for 90 Makar. So he's got McDavid, X Factor, Evo, Duchesne, Mac, Ranton, and Matthews, Eichel, Sagan, Nobels, Lindell, Barzal, Pasta. I would upgrade Barzal uh, to the 94. Like, just, I wouldn't trade in. I would just use Barzal's X Factor, upgrade him. Sagan, yeah, go and get the 94 Sagan. Um, and then on defense, upgrade Dougie, Ham or Dougie Hamilton. That's one of your first ones because at 90, he becomes very, very good. So make sure you do that. Uh, from Huffer Play says, I have a thousand coins. I need base Eichel. Do you think I should pull him or try to save up and buy him? Yo, you got to save up and buy him, man. Panarin, Eichel, Kirk, Mikhaev, Matthews, Newton, um, Nishushkin, Ranton, and Sagan, Huberto, Palat. So this is a starter team. Go and watch my under 50,000 coin budget video as well as my under 75,000 coin budget video. Um, those are the cards you should be chasing. But in terms of Eichel's X Factor, yeah, go and just wait, and, wait until you have enough coins to buy base Eichel. Greg Connor says, hey, Sleeves, what's up? What's up all the way from St. Catharines? Love the content. What's respect, my dude? I've gone from like Div 7 to 4 in the last month watching yours and Kesso's video. Shout out to my man Kesso. And figuring all the half spins, so thanks very much. Just wanted to show you my lineup and ask if you see any improvements or maybe I should move some players out. Every card is maxed. So he's got Max, Sagan, um, McDavid, Ovi, Stam, Ranton, and Duchesne, Matthews, Eichel, Giroud, Dreisaitl, Kucherov. Wow. Um, no, nah, dude, I'm planning on swapping Giroud with Barzell. That's a solid move. I have on the bench X Factor Makar. Was thinking of getting X Factor Hamilton. I'd rather have Hamilton than Makar. Uh, my collection is basically depleted after Team of the Year, then making Sagan. Uh, Matthews is my favorite player, so removing him entirely isn't an option. I understand that, even though I bumped him up to the third line after making Sagan. I'm free to play minus the God knows how much money I've spent since launch. Uh, any advice would be great. Yeah, dude, what you said nailed it on the head. Giroux with Barzal is great, and then upgrade Matthews to the, the highest, that's fine. Eventually, he's going to become better when he gets to skating just a little bit. And then on defense, I would rather go with uh, Hamilton. Uh, Nick Sab says, Hey sleeves, I love the streams. I was wondering what I could do to help my defense. It's not, it's really not the strong right now. And I have 220,000 coins and 74 extra to Hamilton. I'll upgrade soon. Also, if you have any tip for forwards, I have Ovi. So I'll probably downgrade Aho soon. Yeah. Ovi, Ovi is definitely one of the ones he's better than Aho and Solani or, and pasta Solani close. Um, but he's, he plays way faster than his stats indicate. In terms of the cards that you've got here, based on your centerman, I'd probably go with uh, with Sagan as your as your um, free card, and then you've got Icon Park Base. You actually you need defenseman, man. You might want to go. You might want to go uh, Chikrin as your free card. To be honest with you, and then Hamilton as well. Get Hamilton up as far as you can, um, and then yeah, make sure you upgrade. Uh, um, I would take Ovi for sure there, dude. 
I pulled an untradable X Factor Couturier. What do I do with him? He's useless, but he feels like a waste to use him in a gold player trade in. He's X Factor is, is terrible. I mean, if you're not going to use them, I, I would not. Because eventually, maybe they put in an X-Factor trade-in set. Just have it sit there, man. It's uh, um, really nothing else you can do. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for today's Who Should You Choose? Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on for your best shot to answer the next video tomorrow. Have a good one, guys.